Hey guys, it's Daryl Lou and Simple Living. So I'm gonna just go do a little quick harvest in the backyard, organic raised bed garden. Now join me and see what I got uh, ready to harvest. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this corn out of the way. I think I'll take these three. With that one. The squash plant, which is looking like it's in bad shape. Squash vine bores have gotten to it. Let me go ahead and get a little bit of this off. Another one back here. Looks like it's doing pretty good. And what's interesting about the squash vine bore is at least the plant's infected. So that's a good good one there. If you got one part that's infected, which is you know got the grubs in it, which is this one, it looks like it's kind of re it's rooted here into the ground. Let's see what we do. It's pretty zenius. I think I'll harvest some flowers here in a little bit. You bring them in for for the better half. Here's your grub. He's not going to survive. I won't put that on camera. A nice little watermelon growing. That vine came from all the way over against the fence. Let me go ahead and take a couple of these carrots. These have been in the ground a good while. A couple of amarillos there. Nice looking carrots. Some kind of peppers. I'm only going to take a handful here. I'll use them in some dishes. I'm not ready to make. I need some more, you know, to make the uh, my good old fermented cayenne pepper Louisiana hot sauce. All right, kind of in the middle of all this back here, I got some butternut squash and some other things growing. I also got a couple of eggplants. Or at least one eggplant. <clears throat> There's three just real small uh, eggplants. I believe these are, I'd have to look again. It is the Malaysian dark red eggplant. These are some, uh, I think these are Michael's cowpea. I don't have to look again to make sure. Um, they're coming in really well. I'm just letting them dry. Now I got to deal with some aphids, it looks like. See, I got some all gathered up on that one, on these flowers. All you got to do is get a uh, get your hose, bring it over here and spray them all. Sounds simple, but that's all you got to do with these aphids. That's some strawberry corn. It's just not ready yet. And that's strawberry popping corn. If I can get to my tomato down here, I got a couple that are ready. Let's see. That one, yep. That one's ready to come on now. Nice big red tomato. This other one's going to be ready soon enough. Yep, there it goes. I think that is a black crown. Nice looking tomatoes. Yeah, so I got this okra here growing. Um, don't know where it came from, but it's here. And they're pretty green. I'm not sure what type they are. because I... Now I got this squash Dickinson pumpkin growing here. It's had some uh, squash vine bore issues. I think that was Dakota over there. I don't have any fruit from that one yet, but look at this thing here. Oh man. Another big one there, but this one's the biggest of all. Put my hand up here, you just kind of get an idea how big it is. I'm gonna let that sucker keep on maturing. Along with this brother there or sister there. I got some different beans growing here. Uh, these are lima beans. These there are the uh, uh, Alabama black-eyed uh, lima beans or butter beans. 
here's part of a butternut squash these are some of my roman tomatoes growing in here i'm not gonna pick them yet because i'm gonna get them all make a good sauce with it some sort whether it be a tomato paste tomato sauce some salsa i haven't got it all figured out yet but, but let some of these go ahead and ripe i think these may be the amish paste or the martinis roma either one it's a volunteer celery going to seed there's all my sweet potatoes they're starting to vine doing pretty well there's some epinicha let's see what we got down here we got some peppers just gonna take a couple I need to go ahead and put a, put a steak on these look how pretty that one is here so what we got here where is he hiding there's a cucumber He's kind of hiding in here. I'm going to take him inside. Wow, I didn't even recognize this one. Didn't even see it up here. Things are growing too long. Nice, big, long. Here's one that is not. Let me walk my words back here. And another one right here. Tell you what i got a plant growing from over there it's uh i think it's a watermelon i could look if i go dig in there and see where the which vine it is i'm pretty sure it's a moon and stars watermelon but man it's growing like crazy sunflowers unfortunately are starting to die away this is some japanese black trifle just pulled off of there look how pretty these aurora peppers are Take one of those, bring them in. Now what I also got back here are some figs. They're doing pretty well. You can tell a couple here. This is an LSU gold fig. This one over here is an LSU purple. Now, it does not have any figs on it yet, but it will. And finally, you see my blueberry bushes. Um, I've harvested a bunch off of them. Man, these, these pink ones are just incredible. I'm going to have a video. I just harvested a whole bunch of them, them and the blue ones. On making some pink lemonade blueberry jam. Again, I've already picked through most of them. They sure are good. Alright, it's a pretty doggone good harvest for a quick one, uh, enough to get us fed uh, for lunch and for dinner. So you got five ears of corn, you got some uh, amarillo. Tomatillas, you got some white patty pan, you got some black creme, you got some Japanese black trifle, you got some Malaysian dark eggplant, got some bearish cucumbers, got a surprise okra, that one's gonna be too tough, but the other two will be fine. Got some uh, amarillo carrots, beefsteak, a couple different peppers. All right, that's enough to enjoy. Quick harvest, just wanted to show you real quick. Hey, and thanks for coming back to Louisiana Simple Living again. Hey, just did a real quick harvest. It's a midweek harvest. Just want to show you what we got going on in the garden. Hope you have a rest of a good week. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like this video. Uh, and as always, I will see you on the next video.